We're going mad for our next guest. Paul Reiser is a born, raised New Yorker. You probably know him best for his hit TV show, Mad About You. And his newest movie, The Problem with People, takes him character, his character from New York City to Ireland to meet his long-lost family. And it doesn't go quite as planned. When does it? When does it? Jerry's lovely here. Ah, uh, that it is. Which is why I decided to build here. Huh? Get up! Oh, no, no, no. Not here. There. Remember how you told me your great-grandfather never bought those last few feet? Well, guess what? I did! Oh, my God. We have so many questions. He joined so us on the couch York. this morning to tell us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, fans of all ages, please welcome to the show actor, comedian, and writer, Paul Reiser. Look at the crowd. Look at the I mean, crowd. We, nice to see you. We pleasure, found the six people on 42nd and 2nd and said, hey. <laughs> and they're sending, yeah, they're, they're sending their best. They're sending <laughs> when, when 42nd Street opens up. They're sending their best. That's great. Oh my God. That is great. Nice to be here with you, people. It's better to see you. I'm gonna have your water. It's the it's straight out of the East River, so you'll be fine. Um, the problem. Would have been a great take. <laughs> I didn't want to do it to your nice clothes. It's been not that nice. What thing. is the problem with people? That mm. great title. And what, what, what humanity wants to know. Humanity. Well, humanity is the problem. Right, the world will be fine, it's the people. But how many times a, a day, you're watching the news, you're crossing the street, you're driving and going, what, what, is, what is the problem here? <laughs> so we're trying to figure it out. And the real reason, I always wanted to go to Ireland. I had been there years ago and mm -hmm. I just fell in love. It's so, so beautiful and the people are great. So I wrote this movie so to get myself to Ireland. <laughs> oh, my. And I wrote it with a buddy of mine and we stumbled on the story. It's, it's basically, we play two cousins who've never met different sides of the family, the mm -hmm. American, the Irish, and there's been a feud in the family from the grandfathers down. Oh, so we grew up already hating each other, never, never, don't even know why. And we thought, well, let's, we can't solve the world's problems. Right. Maybe we can at least solve, make peace mm. in our family. Yeah. So I go to Ireland and we try to be friends and it doesn't go well. Well, you're, you're obstructing someone's view, apparently. <laughs> you're buying a property. Well, listen, I had to, you know, he started. <laughs> he started, he started it. it. Is, right? Yeah. That's well, awesome. but that, you know what, that's, the story is really, these two guys, <laughs> they're good guys. Mm -hmm. They're trying to do something good, and they can't get out of their own way. Right. Because if you put two people on an island, you'll still find something to fight of about. Of course. It's like, yeah, I don't like the way he looked at me. Right, <laughs> right. I don't like his hair color. Uh, exactly. There's some problem. You guys are fine. It's really it's everybody it's, else. Yeah, it's it's everybody else. else. You know that. We appreciate else. that, though. Yes. Oh, That's what we always think. Uh, but we're so excited. Uh, this is. I've been working on this for years, and kept. I, I just wanted to make this movie, and between COVID and schedule conflicts, okay. and we just all kinds of problems. We finally made it, mm -hmm. and we had a screening here in New York the other night. And it was like, oh my gosh, they're they're getting it. They're laughing yes. at it. They're all the right places. They're moved, and it's. And some, uh, so many people came over to me afterwards and they said, you know, this is the first time I've smiled in a movie. I felt good. Aww. There's so much tension in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, this movie made us feel good. I went, yeah, Yay. Yay. That's what I wanted. Mission Nailed accomplished. It. Mission accomplished, Nailed exactly. It. So it's you. open you, in a few theaters and it's on. You can watch it on Apple, on Amazon. On and your pajamas. You can stay home. Is you that right? Life. Yes, you don't even have you to leave the home. house. Okay, great. I could I'm trying to keep people comfortable. <laughs> You're very good at doing that, because listen, 32 years ago, of course, Mad About You, and 32. 32 years ago, you were a puppy. Yeah, yeah. you were. <laughs> yeah. A, a puppy, I'll get to a <laughs> moment that shaped and defined my adolescence, thanks to you. I'll tell you about uh -oh. it later. But Helen Hunt, of course, your co-star, yes. you did a reboot in 2019. Yeah, yeah. What, why'd you make that comeback with her? It's funny, we, we, Helen and I were friends you know, for years after the show, and we were always very clear, we're never going to come back. Because we ended it well, we right. loved it. Mm -hmm wrapped it up, don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. And then all these shows were doing reboots, so they, we, they kept mm. asking us, so we said, well, let's at least talk about it. And we thought, well, A, it would be fun to play together, because we just really got along great. And then we said, you know what, it's 20 years, so the little baby that we had is now Isn't leaving that? the mm -hmm. nest. Mm -hmm. That's a fun place to, right. to explore. So, you know, and also to see where this couple is, because we weren't trying to pretend, it wasn't, we weren't going back. We're right. saying, mm -hmm. Where are they now? We've aged. So we're older. Right. We don't hear as well. We're walking slower. <laughs> We've, we're, we're, you know, a lot of the shine has come right. off the love. So it was really fun to write. I think we were talking about this earlier that it shaped, and it's in part 
the writing, the genius of the two actors, yeah. you and Helen Hunt, yeah. because it felt like real life. And now you got to tell him. So what happened? I, uh -oh. I was telling her, so the, the episode and the scene where you had confronted her about her cheating on you and how angry you were, yeah, yeah. I felt that to my core. It was my first grown man cry. I was 18 uh, at the time. And I felt that, oh my God, he got cheated on and how you reacted to it. It's, all, it's not only the women that get cheated on yeah. and how they react, and you got cheated on by Helen Hunt's yeah. character and yeah. you let her know how you felt. And you let her know that it wasn't fair. It, she doesn't just get to say it's yeah. okay now. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. Move on. I felt that to my core, and oh I was like, gosh. that was my first adolescent cry where it hit me, and I'm like, oh my God, this is what it's like to be a man. I get wow. it now. Yeah, so, so like, yeah. thank you for sharing it. You know, we, we, we danced around. From the very first time Helen and I met, we said, well, what do we want the show to be? And I said, I said we got to do that, whether they cheat or they think of cheat, because yeah. there's mm -hmm. no couple that doesn't have that tension. Right. And, but we had to wait. It wasn't until like the fourth year. And we said, it's got to be equal. Like, he was a little mm -hmm. bit wrong, she's a little bit wrong. And, and uh, we had to write that really carefully. But yeah, there's, there's not a couple that doesn't have some moment of, of where, what, what's going on here. Right. And uh, yeah, that was, that was brutal to play. <laughs> but you I, pulled it off and it, it, I think it opened up a conversation. I rem yeah, and I remember the, the head of the network at the time said, read the script, he said, you can't, you can't do that. What was it for? Uh, you're committing telecide. I went, what is that? Not telecide. Telecide. <laughs> Television killing itself. It's I went, okay. Oh. The media will kill itself in a few years. Country was the biggest episode we ever had. He goes, I was wrong. Right. It was the best right. thing I've right. ever right. seen. I went, okay, thank you. Part wow. of your talent is your timing, stand-up comedy. You continue to do it. It's still, it, it's... That's it's, the most fun for me, And really. it's aging so well, like oh, you. Oh, you're so <laughs> kind. You're so kind. What I can't even hear what you're saying. I'm so tired. He's reading uh, my lips. He's literally I'm reading, I'm reading my lips. Yeah. Slow down. You, I, that's you the most fun it. part. Well, you know what? Also, it changes as you change. So the right. stuff you talk about on stage in your 20s, not what you talk about in your 60s. And people always say, well, where, where do you get your material? Yeah. And I say, well, I'm not smart enough to make anything up. I'm just going to tell you what happened in my house. And people are going, right. yes, uh -huh. that's my house too. Thank right. you for saying that. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it feels good to, when they laugh. I'm going, so it's not just me. It's good. not just me. Yeah. In your, in your vast career, Yes. because my fiance was like, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, you worked with Eddie Murphy, yes. you were in Stranger Things, you've done... There's very few shows I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you just don't know. And yeah. then you co-wrote a memoir with Michael McDonald. How do you two know each other? There, there's no reason for that to None. happen. I literally, I started, I started researching it last night, and then it was the first pitch. So I stopped. I was like, "Is Paul Rudd going to have to wait?" Get some sleep. I, <laughs> what, how, so how Michael, I, I was a huge fan of Michael McDonald. Doobie who, Brothers, by the way. Yes, who was not a big fan? Yeah, the, I went to some private party as an event, a social thing, and he was playing piano at somebody's house. I went. Yeah, I didn't know this because I don't like going to anything. <laughs> I, mean, I got. Dra I went. Oh, Michael McDonald's. And I went over and I just introduced, I said, I just, I love your music. And it was near my house. And I said, in a, I don't know where I got this moxie. I went, I live across the street. No. I said, I got a room, I play piano. I said, I have a room with two pianos. Would you like to come play? He went, yeah, right, man. <laughs> I went, no. I went, all right, hurry up before he says it, before he changes yeah. his mind. Yeah. And we sat and we played and then we became friends. And so over the years, I would ask him questions because I never understood. How could you be in the Doobie Brothers right. and you're in Steely and Dan? What, what, and you sang with Kenny, Ro with yeah, the, Kenny, yeah, Kenny Loggins. Loggins, yeah. So I never understood his career because he's kind of quiet off the radar, uh -huh. like great music, but yeah. right. I didn't know him. So I jokingly said, you should write a book so I don't have to bother you all the time. Put this in a book. He goes, I don't know how to write a book. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to help you. And it was just COVID had just hit, so we had nothing to do. Nothing to do. We weren't Stars, working. Stars, they're just like and, us. And, and, and uh, it's his story, and I just helped him put it together. But it's, it's a really fascinating story. He's a sweet guy. He's such a huge talent, too. Wow. Well, before we let you go, I have to ask one question. Oh, oh boy. boy. You watched that game last night. I, I caught the last two innings. I came, I came back to my hotel, eighth inning. I said, two nothing, three more outs. We're not, this is dead. Is it? And then, oh my gosh! And I was actually in my hotel room making noise. Go! Oh, I went, oh, security's gonna come in. Sorry, audio. Um, oh my god! But yeah, wow, I was so excited. Because you're a native New Yorker, you grew up yes. rooting for the Yankees. And I was a Yankee guy, but I'm fluid. You fluid. You know? Fluid. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open. That's I'm right. Open. That's right. If, if sometimes Yankees Mets, and I go, I don't, I don't know what to do it's now. It's tough. 
Yeah. It's tough, it's tough. We sadly have to go. I don't want to. No. Why? You got things to do. What is more do. important than what we're going to talk about? We got to make shrimp scampi. Make sure everybody goes see this movie. You're going to love it. Watch it. You and your guests. We'll Enjoy there. it. The we'll newest be there. movie, The Problem with People, in theaters on all digital platforms today. You could watch it in your pajamas. Exactly. Or you could get dressed up. You could even watch it naked. That's all. You could watch it in whatever you I want. I have no investment. Whatever you want. You know what? When I go to the booth on Tuesday, I'm going to put this on my phone. Yes. I'm going to watch, oh, well, I'm gonna watch I the like game it. and you at the same time.